850,000 government workers locked out of their offices and left out of their paychecks. That's what happened when the government shut down in 2013, and it would likely be the same this time. Many services would be stopped or delayed for the public. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, for example, would back down on its flu tracking, even as the nation faces the worst outbreak in several years. Some senior nutrition programs would be paused. 200,000 passport applications went unprocessed during the shutdown in 1995. Congress funds much of the science research being done in this country. In 2013, the shutdown meant that some experiments went on hold and suffered costly losses of data. In space that same year, NASA put a monitoring system for looking for dangerous asteroids on hold for about two weeks, reportedly. A big one, by the way, is expected to brush by Earth on February 4th. As for the 417 national parks, the administration wants to keep limited access wherever possible, but services would be reduced, and all 19 of the Smithsonian's museums would shut their doors after this weekend. Now, beyond that, not everybody would be out. For example, in the military, there's a lot of worry about the impact on the military. There would be some discomfort, no doubt, for some military families if their pay was delayed, other benefits, that sort of thing. But Congress has previously gone out of its way to keep that from being too egregious, and the troops would stay on duty. Indeed, roughly 1.9 million government workers would keep at it since their jobs are considered essential. Air traffic controllers, security officers, food inspectors, prison guards, social security checks would also go out, as would be expected for the senior population out there. The post office would remain open. But in virtually all of these cases, people would be working without pay until the shutdown is over. That could cause them some difficulties, undeniably. And it could all be pricey for us, too. One current estimate shutting down the government would cost taxpayers $6 billion a week.